What was that? Oh, okay. Start again. All right. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Start again. All right. Uh, hold on, guys. You got a phone call. All right, I'm back. Okay. Start again. Gonna let this music ride through real quick, man. All right. Y'all in the chat, tell me if y'all know where this music came from. Phone call. I better know it. EO in the building. You said EO in the building? Yeah, he in the, he in the chat room. What's popping, bro? What's going on, EO? Well, I was just talking about you. I was talking behind your back, boy. <laughs> I say you didn't have no game. <laughs> no, what I said was, come on, Super Friends, next week, Sunday, man. Tell your chicks you got a doctor's appointment. You, you got a dentist appointment because I need your ass Sunday next next Sunday 8 p.m. Eastern time. I need you over there, man. So you give me a call. That's what I need. That's all I said about you. We're <laughs> <laughs> gonna start in like three minutes, y'all. Right. After this saucy breakdown. What's going on? Welcome to Afi's Kingdom, and this is Expert, Expert Level Game, Episode 3, with the one and only Mr. Lucario. What up? What's going what on? What up? The topic of today is um, you've had coaching, no results. Mm -hmm. So I know maybe people had that, made me have that problem, and right. I want to give, as long as Mr. Lucario, Ever Overton, man, you already, nigga, I already know you know the movie. You don't count. You've mm -hmm. spoiled it. I wanted them to guess. <laughs> That's his favorite movie and my favorite movie. Yeah, of course you know. <laughs> yeah, man, so I feel like it's really important for you guys to understand. Let me let me premiere my face real quick, just so y'all won't think I'm ugly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm still, I'm still gorgeous. Still me. This is my, this is my other name, too. Tarek is my name, Tarek Afi, in case y'all wondering and y'all think I got somebody else shit on. 
But um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about um, cats realizing what up, Mars? Though the hard work that it puts in, and I feel like some cats feel like this is this. I notice how they feel. They feel like okay, mm -hmm. they want to get on the bad boy membership. They've invested now. They've been saving up all their lunch money mm -hmm. and all their checks, and right. they finally get the debit card and they put it on there. So then this happens, and then they have one conversation, and then in one week they're like, what What's going on, like? Where are the girls at? What? That's why I played this music, and I'm gonna use my. I'm gonna use Rocky Four. Actually, I'm gonna use Rocky Period for a contrast. Mm -hmm. right. now, so look, so look, think about Rocky One, right? Now we're talking about the the heavyweight champion, and he sold his idea of a boxer so well that he has a damn statue, and he's not even a real boxer. Right. <laughs> so that's game right there. That's game right there. So look, remember Rocky One? He was a nobody. Then guess what happened? Remember, he got that ass whooped. They tied. Mm -hmm. So he had to go back to the drawing board, study his mistakes, figure out where he fucked up, figure mm -hmm. out where he can get better at, then came back. Then he became the champion, right? Then, right. He, too. then he was the champion. So then this is this is why I be telling you cats to stop thinking with your ego because his ego got out of control and he started thinking he was the man and he got all Hollywood and started doing all these commercials and, and wearing all this fancy shit. So guess what? He lost his purpose. He got wrapped up into, into what was going on and he lost himself. So then guess what? He messed Mr. T. What happened? Mr. T fucked his ass up. <laughs> fucked his ass up, gave his gave his mentor a heart attack. Fuck this shit up. You know what I'm saying? Then so that was three. Then he had to, what did he have to do, Lucario? He had to go back to the drawing board, train right. harder, find his I'm saucy. I didn't even, I just thought of this all right now. Go back and then figure out, dang, what, what can I do? Get re-inspired. He then, he then he had to go. This is another lesson, too. He had to go to Apollo, which was his major one uh, antagonist in the movie at the time, to help him elevate himself. So that's the whole thing right there. You got to sometimes your elevation and your level up is going to come from somebody else. Mm. Be open to that. So that's another true, true gem right there. Just quit, quit always thinking you can do it yourself, man. Mm. You know? Quit thinking it, cause like I say, like Lucario, like I always say, shit. I I I wouldn't have been thinking about monetizing this shit, you know, cause I like doing it. Right. <laughs> My level up came from him. See that? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's right like, and then then part four. What happened? He retired. Apollo. His thinking with his ego, thinking living in his past, thinking he was gonna know do all this shit. He went up against that Russian and got killed. Not beat up, killed, 187, right? Mm. 187. Then he had to go back to the drawing board. So even winners fail, man. That's the mm. whole point that I'm making. So the, the points that I'm making is winners fail. You got to go. You got to learn from your failures. You got to go back to the drawing board. And then also be open-minded, man, that your, levels, that, your, that your level ups and shit like that, it could come from somebody else. It can take from someone to give you that gem or just to plant that seed in order for you to grow. Mm. So quit, quit, so quit looking under your bed and looking in the drawers and shit for seeds because the seed might be coming from somewhere else. Right. You driving yourself crazy, but <clears throat> enough of me, man. Lucario, what you got to say, man? I know you got a lot to say about that. Man, man. I mean, this is a good topic, though. This is a real good topic because mm -hmm. you know there's a lot of guys out there who want to learn game, and there's guys out there who try to learn certain things and then they go out there and they do certain things and and for some for some guys it works for some guys it doesn't work right. um usually usually the the the, the times when it doesn't work for a certain guy is when he's had and and, and sometimes it's not really it's, it's not really his fault it's more so the marketing of a lot of um things when it comes to like dating advice pickup advice stuff like that mm -hmm. the guys who really have the 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 the, the worst results are the guys who thought that it was going to be easy. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So they usually think like, well, I'm going to just buy this one book. I'm going to, you know, uh, watch these videos. I'm going to, you know, join this course or whatever. And by next week, I'm going to have like a lot of women. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But what they don't realize is, is that a lot of this is continuous hard work. Always, always love to, to, um, to, to, uh, you know, compare it to like working out. If you, if you're a fat dude, you ain't gonna get fit in a week. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So you gotta you gotta work out for a while. You gotta eat, start eating right. There's a lot of things you gotta do consistently in order to get the result. You see what I'm saying? And so I think that's the, the hard part about it with the game where there's so many guys out there who 
they have a misconception of what it means to actually what or what it takes to actually succeed. That's the that's the hard part. And so, like I said, the guys who really succeed at it are usually the ones who are more realistic about getting the success and what they need to do to make it happen. Right. The guys who aren't usually uh, making it work, those are the guys who had the misconception of thinking, OK, I'm just going to buy this book or join this course and then that's going to make things happen you know, tomorrow. You know what I mean? So that's, that's usually what happens in the, in the game. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right, right. See, see, I feel like, um, what I want to say. <clears throat> okay. I'll give you two examples. So first for one, I think guys need to start thinking about real goals. Mm. So if, so, so if it's women that you want, get more specific with your goals. Don't just mm. say, Oh, I just want to fuck a gang of bitches. And right. just keep it at that. Like, keep it like, hey, I want a, I want a girlfriend, a side piece, and then I work around. It just needs to be particular. That way, you're mm -hmm. not just all over the place. You right. Know what I mean? That's just like if I tell somebody to, to, to clean up, clean up the house. Well, it's just easy for me to say, clean up the living room or clean mm -hmm. up the filming. So, so now you have some type of gauge of where to start and where you're going rather mm -hmm. than just, you know, I give you my car, fix my car, what's wrong with it, find out. Like, you mm -hmm. just need to, 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 to narrow your shit down a little bit. That way you can know where you're going. So like I said, if you want girls, then you then you need to evaluate yourself to where to know and understand where you're coming from mm -hmm. as well as where you're going. That's how you track your progress. So if you don't have no goals in this shit, you're not gonna know whether you're failing or leaving because a lot of men, they may even have, start having success, but, See, the thing is, is they, they they look at you, they look at me, they look at mm -hmm. EO, you know, BOA, Lawrence D. Adams, whoever, and, and then they look at it like they compare their success to us. Well, we're already been doing this shit. Right, right. For you years, know exactly. So so say you have a so say you have a consultation, Lucario. Mm -hmm. so you have a consultation today is what, Monday? So by so on Friday, maybe this guy is a natural, he's he's somewhat sharp, right? So mm. say he's able to like actually get numbers every day and he even hook up with one. Well, mm -hmm. that's a success, correct? If you would have success before that. But the whole thing is he'll be looking like, Ish. now I'm trying to get a girlfriend and a wife like Lucario. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Right. Like, just base your shit, base them, base their shit on you. And the thing is, is like, you might not even like that, man. Like mm -hmm. I, I say time and time again, like the reason why that I choose to be single is not because I like having a gang of sex and fucking all these women. That still has nothing to do with it. Mm. I just personally know it myself. I'm very selfish and I just like doing whatever I like to do. I don't like to check in. I don't like to see. Then I, I get tired of the same person all the time. Mm. Any, any relationship that I've been when, when there were good times, it's because I had something else in rotation and I went back to it. Now that's just what, that just what works for me though. That doesn't mm. mean that's just the answer. But that's just what works for me. Right. Lobster is my favorite food, motherfucker. Does that mean that's your favorite food? You might like spaghetti. I think spaghetti mm -hmm. sucks. Right. You know what I'm saying? So figure out what it is that you're trying to do for one. Mm -hmm. Begley, what up? He said, I'm making progress in all areas at my life in the moment. I'm saving chicks for last. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Sometimes you got to take a break. Like the car, yo, I, I just told myself, man, that after this month, Mm. Um, my birthday is on the 24th. EO e e birthday on the 23rd, matter of fact. We both Gemini's and well, shit. That's what's up. Mine's is on the 28th. So we, we, we the, yeah, Gemini gang. That, <laughs> that, that'll be the birthday shit. So, um, yeah, Gemini gang. So after this month is up, man, I'm going to try to like really not mess with the chicks for I'm going to check in every month. So I'm going to do one month, another month, because I already know it's my birthday. I'm going to get pussy and all that type of shit. Right. So, so it, but then it's easier too because, you know, uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have a lighter schedule because, um, you know, school's gonna be out. So I'm mm. gonna be working less and have more time so I can get in the gym. I really, I really need to put my book out. And I was I personally, even me. See, I'm evaluating myself to you. I mm. thought I could fuck bitches and write a book. Can't do it. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it. Sorry. Was somebody? Like, what happened? Yeah. just gonna be done, man. I tried. Have y'all smoke? If y'all smoke cigarettes. Don't, and having y'all said y'all was gonna quit and it didn't happen, it's right. life. Sometimes the shit don't go the way you plan. Mm -hmm. So, but I just said I I want to really see how far and how many things I can get accomplished if I take that because I put a lot of energy towards that mm -hmm. out. 
Now I could try it for one month or two months and I could be on the same level. And then I'd be like, that was a waste of fucking two months. Or I can, it can, it could be beneficial and then it'll be easier month three, four, five, and six. You know what I mean? Mm. I, ha I have to see my name in a book by this year, man. And that's mm. more important to me than fucking bitches, personally. Mm. Right. Maybe right. Lucario can do it because he because he already did multiple books. So he might have a fucking science of this shit. Like, geez, right. you know, but me, I'm going to swear, is, I don't know this shit like he knows. So I mean, the thing is, what I did, what I did with my books was the funny part is with this book right here, the, um, How to Have Sex Two in a Day, this book. Yeah, I, I fucking this took me like three years to write. You feel right. what I'm saying? But the only reason it took me three years is because I was I was writing it for I was doing good for a good year and a half. Like I was like just every day an hour just writing something, even if it was like a sentence, I was just writing something. So I took I took a, a, like an hour a day just to do that. And it, it took me a long time because I wrote all this shit and then I took like eight months off and then I started again. So it all took like three years, in, you know, to do it. Mm -hmm. um, but even but even let's let's use that example of writing books like, you know, I wrote some books. You 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 in the process of writing your book, and I mean, I'm sure I'm sure you could you could uh, attest to this that writing books is fucking hard. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That shit is not easy, but it's something that you you put time and energy in and stay consistent, and then you actually are gonna get the result. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's the same thing that that applies to the game. You feel what I'm saying? That the same thing applies to you becoming good with women. It's consistency. It's actually investing time and energy into it. You, you, into it, you understand? So it's like right. anything else. If you want the result, you have to actually invest time, energy, and put and, and take it seriously and put time into it, so that you'll get to the point where you want to go. You feel what I'm saying? Oh but but for a lot of dudes, the reason and, and this is another reason why cats uh, ain't really you know making shit happen in the game is a lot of dudes unfortunately don't want to invest in themselves and and sometimes investing in yourself means you're going to have to put up some money. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So so, so what happens is even when on, on YouTube, so what, what a lot of dudes will do, they'll watch a video of mine, they'll watch a video of you, they'll watch a video of uh, Alan Roger Curry, Ron Wills, Steve the Dean, whoever. They'll watch all the videos on YouTube, but they won't join no Patreons, they won't buy no books, they won't join no members, none of that shit. You see what I'm saying? Right. And so what they don't understand, it, they don't understand is there's, a lot of information that we don't say on YouTube that you're not going to get unless you invest. And yeah. so what happens is, and the reason why you have to invest is because on a psychological level, when you put money down for the information, you mm -hmm. take it more seriously. You see what I'm saying? And then therefore you're actually more willing to actually try out and, and take heed to the information and be serious about it. And then therefore you have a better chance of succeeding in what you're trying to do because you're taking what you're, you're doing seriously. You see what I mean? But that's the thing that a lot of a lot of cats don't realize. So a lot of times the reason why they're not getting to the next level is because they're they're not they're not willing to invest into the situation. You understand? Like, for example, when I when I was first learning how to, you know, um, when I was doing videos on YouTube and I wanted to learn how to be a better speaker, I, I invested in an actual program. I was like fifteen hundred dollars on how to become a public speaker. You understand? And, and that was like the, the like the, the all the money I had in my savings. I just spent it. You feel what I'm saying? And in that program, there was one thing, there was literally one thing. There was like probably, there was a lot of things to learn, but there was one, one main thing that I learned that helped me immensely since that, you understand? And so the $1,500 was worth just that one thing. You feel what I'm saying? But the thing is you have to invest in order to get that information. You see what I mean? So that's what it is. You see? That, 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 that's what's up. Like that, uh, I'm glad you brought that Patreon. Uh, mm -hmm that Patreon uh, topic up too, because, and I see my Patreon is in the link. Oh, Lawrence Diablo, he must have something. Make sure I join the Patreons. Because, because see, people think, people be looking at it like, oh, you're trying to get rich now, or like, no fam, see me personally, um, just just me working in the field that, that I do, I take my teaching serious, man. Mm -hmm. I, I, really, I really take my shit serious, like, this is not, this is not like this is what it's what I do for a career. So when I have ideas in my mind and mm -hmm. I teach kids how to know things that they didn't know before our interaction. So mm -hmm. it's the same thing with these men. And so I know that when people sign up for my Patreon, that's like like Lucario. I only do shit for Patreon now. I don't do shit yeah. no more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I yeah. tape it, but you know what I mean? Because it's like 
I give out, I'm giving out my life and my time, man. So mm -hmm. when people invest in the Patreon or say you, you they buy your books or whatever, mm -hmm. you know that they're serious and they're ready to take that next step. So mm -hmm. my whole thing is like, if I have if I have a solution for you and all you gotta do is click the link and, and we can chop game and do all this or book a one-on-one -on -one consultation. If, if, if you feel, if you feel I have the result or I can help you with the result. So mm -hmm. you know you have an answer there. So if you don't even have enough incentive to drop that, y'all take women on dates. I told y'all I made five yeah. videos stop taking women on dates. I still do it. So what I'm saying is you you say you don't have $10 for five dollars for the Patreon, but then you'll call me up or DM me and be like, hey, Afi, yeah, I took this girl to David and Busted. You fucked up. So you're not even listening already. Before you, before, before you tell me your story, you already doing something you're not supposed to do. I mean, well, you ask, so like that's just that's just like I say, I, I don't I, I don't you know I'll go on a date with a woman if we're having sex and shit already. I'm not I mean, we can meet for a coffee, we can go walk around. I'm not meeting no first no girl, no first date, and we going to eat fried right. lobster. <laughs> like she has done nothing to show me that besides yeah. show up. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And then like the whole thing, like women are beautiful and they think they dimes. I think I'm a dime too, so right. it's like the same thing. So it's not I don't pedestalize her because I feel the same way about myself. Mm -hmm. So that makes it kind of easier. Uh yeah. So it's so it's so it's like, yeah, it's not a bitch. So it's like, okay, when so when somebody in, it's like it's like college. Why do you think why do you think college costs? Because it weeds people out who's not serious. Exactly. Exactly. That's the reason why if right. I, if college would, if if college was free, everybody would fucking go and just go there just to fucking hang out all day in mm -hmm. Colorado bitches. It costs so that so now do you think that people like studying all night, buying these books that cost two, three hundred dollars, mm -hmm. doing all this shit, uh, study groups, not, ha not having a social life? Of course they don't like it, but they're investing. They're, they're investing their time mm -hmm. and they're investing their money. So they're for sure right. going to take that shit serious. But the whole goal is the fucking degree. They know that the degree is coming, which for the most part, the degree is going to give them more income. So it's mm -hmm. like they're sacrificing, but they know that the goal is this. So you have to invest. You have to invest, man. And if it's not even money, just invest the time. But mm -hmm. if you let me let me this is a shirt right here. I'm giving y'all invest the time, but invest the grind, too. So what I'm mm -hmm. saying is, is you can invest all your time listening to all this shit, but you got to invest your grind, too. You got to go out mm -hmm. here and do it, too. So mm -hmm. just so just because you invest in the time, that's not the that's not the key. You gotta invest time and grind. Right, facts. And mm -hmm. and you know in another thing, another thing too, where I think that um it's hard for guys to really like get things going in the game is because, like for example, um, and shout out to to uh there's a channel called School of Attraction. Um, and who he this guy he was talking about this, he was saying that. The reason why a lot of dating advice and, and game doesn't really work for certain dudes is because one, they don't have social skills mm -hmm. and two, they sort of have um, a, 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 a sort of negative mindset when it comes to the game. So if your social skills suck and you don't, and you have a negative mindset, all of the, 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 the advice already is not going to work for you. You see what I'm saying? So just even basic social skills dudes have to, to, to learn but also they have to have a certain mindset. Like there was a video I was talking, I was, I was listening to where it was one of these guys who was like one of these black pill dudes, was, you know, they always talk about, Oh, the game is only about looks and you can't get nothing going on with a girl unless you have looks and money, blah, blah, blah. Right. So this guy, he was like, he was like, yo, he was like, yo, I listened to Locario. I listened to all these other coaches and I tried all the stuff and it doesn't work and it's bullshit and blah, 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 blah. Right. So, what I found funny was because he's like, yeah, I, he's like, I approached like a hundred girls, and you know, and and it's, it still didn't work. I tried to talk to them. I tried to do this, do that, right? So okay. what I noticed was before he even got into all of that, when he started his stream, when he started his video, he said, "Yo, the game is so bad out here. You know, I'll take any chick. I'll take a fat chick with no teeth. I don't give a fuck. I'll take any girl. Any girl that'll have me, I'll take her. You see what I'm saying? So." He has he already has so such low self-esteem, so that because he has the low self-esteem, that's the reason why it's hard for him to make shit happen in the game. You see what I'm saying? So he's like, All right, I went and I approached a hundred women and, and nothing happened. Well, the reason why nothing happened was because 
you're the type of guy who says, I'll take anything. So if you're the type of guy who says you'll take anything, when you approach a girl, you're approaching a girl with that low self-esteem energy. So when she looks at you, when she interacts with you, she's looking at a guy who's the type of guy who, who will take anything because he has low self-esteem. And so she sees a low self-esteem, lame ass loser who's talking to her. So of course she's not going to want to fuck with you. So the thing is, is that if, you're, if your mindset is already there where you're thinking, well, I'll just take anybody because the game's so hard and I don't give a fuck or whatever, you, you understand something. You're, when, you, when you deal with a chick, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say he did get a fat, goofy looking chick with no teeth. The girl that you deal with is a reflection of you. It's a reflection of your game. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So, so if he's saying, I'll take anything, how does he think women see him? You see what I'm saying? And this is what I try to explain to guys. And this is why certain shit doesn't work. Because if you if you're if you're coming already with the mindset of you're thinking you ain't shit or you're low value or whatever, it's gonna be hard for you to even uh use the advice that we give here and use certain things because your mindset is already uh coming from a place of you're not you're not anything, you're not confident, you're you're insecure, you think you're a loser, you think you're lame. So if you're if you keep having that mindset, all of the advice that's not really going to work for you. The the whatever techniques you think you're trying to do, that's not going to work for you. You see what I'm saying? Whatever strategies you're trying to implement, that's not going to work for you because you're already coming from a place of insecurity and a place of fucking you know uh, uh you know some lame loser shit. You know what I'm saying? So right. crazy. I think I think guys really need to like sit back, just sit back for a second and think about qualities in the woman that turn you off. Do you guys like needy women? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Do you guys like insecure women that always want you to say they beautiful? They, the, how do I look? How do I smell? How do mm -hmm. I, do, even if you deal with it, do you like it though? Don't, doesn't that irritate you? You'd be like, yes, babe. It's so, why would you know that knowing that still do it to a woman, even in a situation where we're the man, so we're supposed to be a certain way. Mm -hmm. Unless it's it's weak energy, fam. Weak energy is not attractive to a woman, man. Right. It is not attractive to a woman, especially at least if you're gonna be a weak man. At least like, uh, at one point in time, showed a woman something at a point. You know what I mean? Because we all go through our phases where our self esteem might go up and down, and mm -hmm. I might gain some weight or just lose my job, just whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. Right, and then so I might have a moment where my shit's down, but we've been together, so I, she still knows that that alpha is in me, and that mm -hmm. bossness and that leader is in me. Right. But if you've never shown her nothing, and you've never shown her that side of you, what makes you think that she's gonna like listen to you and, and do all of this? Like, what? Mm -hmm. Why would you think that? That's like common sense. Why would you think that? Mm -hmm. Right. You gotta really ask yourself this. Mm -hmm. Not nah, real talk. Real talk. And you and you know the thing is is that you know. A lot of these cats out here, the reason why they're, you know, not really getting where they want to go is truthfully, a lot of these dudes don't want to put in the work that's necessary for it to make it happen. Right. That's, that's really a lot. Like, I hear this all the time. Like, I cause look, I watch a lot of dudes videos on YouTube and I'll be seeing what a lot of these cats talking about. And, you know, I hear guys saying, oh, I don't, you know, why well, I got to go and approach all of these girls for, and, 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 you know, that's bullshit and, you know, it's not going to work or, you know, they, they, you know, you got guys that, that they always, they're, they're just trying to wait all the time for choosing signals. I'm like, bro, mm. you're, <laughs> you know, so they, they're looking for ways to cheat the game. They're looking for ways to get around the work. And I'm like, that's, the, that's the reason why you're not getting results. See, right. the thing is this, what the, the, the thing that, that these guys don't understand. And, and this is the funny part, getting girls, is fucking easy. You understand what I'm saying? It's easy. But see, see, myself and Affy, we understand that. But that the reason why we understand that and we have that perspective is because we've mastered the game. You feel what I'm saying? We've mastered our game. We've mastered the things that we need to do in order to get women, in order to uh, have ourselves, see ourselves as that high value dude. You see what I'm saying? Right. Like, I became on here like, yo, I'm fucking gorgeous. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> That's some real shit. That's how, you know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta have that energy. But see, the thing is, once you have that energy, you, you realize how fucking easy this shit is. You feel what I'm saying? Like, see, mm -hmm. it, it, it came to the point where, you know, there were times where I had to, like, imagine, imagine you have to reject the girl, not because you don't like her, but because you don't got no space for her. You feel what I'm saying? In your life yeah. right now. 
because you got too much shit going on. You got too much shit in your in your regular life where you doing shit on your purpose, and then you got you got too much women you already dealing with. You feel what I'm saying? Sure. You got you got to tell her, yo, I can't really fuck with you like that right now. You feel what I'm saying? Because you yeah. literally can't. And so when you get to that level, right? You'll see, you'll see how easy it is. But in order to get to that level, in order to get to be that advanced, if you're the type of guy who's a virgin, type of guy who's having a lot of trouble with women, again, you have to understand in order to get from there to, to the next to that next level, you have to put in work. There's no way around it. If you're the type of guy who's a virgin who hardly ever talks to girls, you can't just buy some dude's book and read it over the weekend and expect that you're gonna get a million girls next week. No, you gotta keep putting in work. You have to. It's a it's a it's a consistent thing. This is why I have the the bad boy membership program because in the program I come out with things each month. You feel what I'm saying? It's a consistent yeah. thing, and that's what dudes gotta understand. It's like you have to stay on top of it consistently. You see what I'm saying? You yeah. always need that refresher in your mind. You gotta keep the shit going consistently. You see what I mean? And that's what it is. Crazy. I, I see you, Lawrence. You must got something to say. You. You, you didn't got mad. I'm we gonna see what you're gonna say. That's what it, bro. <laughs> King Solomon, what up? Locario says laws of average. Yeah, he, oh, you said it a few times. Just ice, what's going on, fam? JC Riggs, what's going on? Yeah, you guys don't approach the like the game is gonna work. Approach with confidence in yourself. Yeah, man. Like the confidence is, is really from within, man. Like I'm Great. telling you, like you I know said, crazy. Before. A lot of these dudes be coping. That's the that's the fucked up part. Right. It's like y'all want like a mom part two and shit. So <laughs> you think the women gonna fix you. So you mm -hmm. think if you're not happy, you don't like your job, you don't like your life, you meet some fucking woman now, you, you like her, so now your life is all together now. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, let, I'll, give, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's say that happens. Hold on. Let's say that happens, mm -hmm. okay? Let's pretend that happens. Once you guys are involved with each other, that's not going to keep her. Mm -hmm. You're going to lose her, bro. When she gets around you, when you're on that Debbie Downer ass shit, you logically going to be thinking, oh, well, since I've invested in this is my girl now, it's her job to bring me out of it. No, she's going to be like, man, this motherfucker, I'm tired of listening to this pity party ass shit. Mm -hmm. We ain't married. We don't have no kids. She's going to be out. She's going to zip out on you, fam. Mm -hmm. I promise you so. Get that right. is not the key. You have to be happy within yourself first. I promise mm -hmm. you. There's been certain situations where maybe people um, were unhappy and they met a woman and the woman brought them to the sunlight and they tell you all this fucking <laughs> feel good ass shit. Don't base your fucking life on some shit you've seen on TV or mm -hmm. from somebody else. You've seen mm -hmm. them on a Tyler Perry movie, so you think, well, if anything's possible, why would you bank on some shit like that? Mm -hmm. Why would you bank on some shit like that? Don't make no sense. Like, why, man? Just <clears throat> I always say, man, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not where you want to be in life, women shouldn't be your focus. Mm. Uh, it it just shouldn't be. Mm. Now that now I don't mean if you come across one at Starbucks and she choosing and she wants to sit down with you for thirty minutes and you can bring her back to the house. I'm not saying don't do that. Of course, do that. Right. But don't make it your priority. Don't go outside and be like, oh, I didn't get no phone numbers today. Well, it don't matter. What did you do today? Right. You right. have an objective every single day, just like right now. This was an objective of mine for today. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I right. could have I could have been I could have been uh, at work. But now I have decided to do this. So, mm -hmm. you know, and I, that's a good point you make about like if you, like the thing is, look, if some, sometimes when a dude don't got his shit together. Mm -hmm. Right. Or not necessarily shit together, but like, let's say if a guy doesn't have a purpose, I should say in his life um, mm -hmm. and he's and he's trying to like get with girls to try to, I guess, get get happiness through that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's a bad that's a bad recipe, because what happens is if you don't have a purpose or direction where you're going and you and what's going to happen is women are going to distract you. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to look for your happiness within the women. And then what's going to happen is this is what gets you attached and, you know, to the chick. And then if shit, and if shit goes left, usually it usually does because you ain't doing nothing else. Shit goes left and you you start losing your goddamn mind. You feel what I'm saying? And that's because you didn't have a focus of where you was what you was doing. You see what I mean? And you've made the woman uh, way too important in your life. You see what I'm saying? The woman, women are supposed to be like, you know, 
like second or third or whatever. They, they, they're never first. You feel what I'm saying? And that's, that's the thing. If you're putting women first, you're fucking up. You understand? First is supposed to be you. You feel what I'm saying? You, your purpose, your, your direction of life, what you're trying to do, where you're trying to go. That's the first thing. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And then women are secondary with all that shit. You feel what I mean? And so the thing is, is that if you're putting women on that pedestal and you're making them be the first thing, that's when you're fucking up because you're not really doing the things and going in the direction you're supposed to be going in in the first place. And the funny part is, when you put chicks first, that's usually when you're going to have the hardest time getting girls. That's when you're going to have the most frustration dealing with women. When you put yourself first, that's what makes women actually want to gravitate to you more. That's what makes them want to do more shit for you. That's what makes them want to fucking... Uh, you know, uh, cooperate with you more because they see you're a guy uh, who's has a direction, and that's what they want to follow. They want to follow a guy who has a direction. They don't want to be with a guy who's who's sweating them. You feel me? So that's that's what it is. So, so I, I'm gonna do two things. I see, I see my man, Big Bro Lawrence, just popped in. So you must really got something to say because you don't never ask to beam up multiple times. So I already know you're getting the whole <laughs> group over there. I know how the feeling was. That's that's how I felt when I was on the Black Ram shit. And he had it was a Pookie and Ray Ray, and, and I, I I had to get on. I was like, nah, man, I don't be tripping, but beat me up. I need to get on this panel. Forget that. So, uh, but let me just ask Lucario real quick. Mm. How many times do you think it took for you to fuck up as far as the situation where um, you're doing what the women say? You know, they say you need to be like that, and you're doing that. Mm. So I, I, maybe not. Maybe it could have took one time, but how many times do you think it took you for you to be like, you know what, this shit it's not coincidence no more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? To where you are doing what the women say and not getting results that you want. Right. Um, yeah, well, I mean, a lot that happened a lot when I was younger. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. When I was younger and I and I was naive and I didn't know certain things because I thought, well, let me let me do what she wants to do so I could get her to like me. You know, that nice guy shit. That was yeah, yeah, yeah. That I do back in the day. You feel what I'm saying? And so since since I wasn't aware, I didn't have the and my game was weak that back then, you know, I would do this shit, but then I would never actually get shit going in my direction you see what i'm saying until i until i started studying the game realizing certain shit then mm -hmm. i was like oh shit i gotta i gotta actually do what i want and, and switch it up so and this is the funny part while i was getting played i actually wanted to do what i wanted to do but i wasn't because i thought i wasn't supposed to i thought i was supposed to follow them and do what they supposed to do. They, they wanted me to do but in my gut i wanted to do my own shit so when I realized that I should be doing my own shit, it was like, oh shit, I should have been doing this the whole fucking time. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. Like so you really, you know, you see the thing, but that's that's how shit went. You know what I mean? Yeah, even even for me, like I would do shit, but I accident. I would do the right shit, but I, it wouldn't plan. So once I figured out the science to it, and I start doing this shit on purpose, right, come together. But the big the big bro, what you got to say? So Mr. Lucario, this is Lawrence D. Adams. What up, bro? If you What's heard going him, on, is, sir? What's going on? Chilling. He my, he my OG. So that's like my big brother. As you can see in the picture, he an OG with it. That's what's yeah. up. It's like big bro, though. So obviously, you know who Mr. Lucario is. What's going on, Lawrence? Man, you guys are heating it up right now, man. I'm actually at work. And I don't know if you can hear you. Can you hear me pretty good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm actually at work. I got it, y'all. When you, when you guys said something, I put it in the chat room, but I got to say it again. When you, why would you invest in a date when you can invest in yourself and have mm. her pay for a date? Mm. Right. Most guys don't take the time to invest in themselves and they constantly invest on something that does not bring a return. If you invest in both of these guys right here, Mr. Mm. Lucario, invest in Alfie Kingdom, you can get a return where you, where you wouldn't get by going on a date. You're going to get temporary five minutes of sex that you can get multiple orgasms if you learn the game. Mm. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's facts. That's real talk. Yeah, OG game. Hey, we had a ball last night, man. That was fun. That's let, real talk. Let, me, let, me, let me say one more thing, and I'm, I'm going to be quiet. But the other thing is, too, most guys don't realize when they're picking a woman, like you guys said, you have to be specific, but she's always a reflection of you because you are the sun and she is your moon. So mm -hmm. what is your moon reflecting back to your earth where you create? So a lot of times guys are mad at the women that they're picking or the women that choose them. I have to say, what are you reflecting to her? Mm -hmm. So once you adjust your reflection on what you, the, the beings that you're giving out, then you begin to attract a different type of woman. And the mm -hmm. reason why the men are failing is because they have not adjusted 
their self image and how they see themselves. Mm. That's real talk. That's real talk. That's facts right there. Because, you know, a lot of guys, they'll say, oh, these girls play games. They doing all this bullshit. But a lot of times when you run into that many women who are doing that, that's because you're playing games and doing some bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? If, if you're the type of guy who's on point and who is, you know, who knows what he wants and you're, you're really about what you're about, you're going to attract more women who's on that same level. You feel what I'm saying? Because what happens is that a woman can see, it's almost like this. It's like, uh, you know, if you're, if you see like, you know, like a guy, he'll be insecure and he'll see a really bad chick across the room. She'll be like a dime or whatever, because he feels that, that he's not on her level. He's not going to go and approach. You feel what I'm saying? But the confident guy is going to go and approach her. You see what I mean? So a lot of times what happens is, is that that dime, she's looking at that dude over there that is scared to approach. And she's kind of like, this guy's fucking lame. But he's not gonna he's not gonna go and approach her anyway because he doesn't feel he's at her level. Then she sees the guy who she sees as on his on her level. He's confident he's gonna go and approach. So she's attracting the guy that is on her level. So the same thing happens on the flip side with you. There's gonna be women who you know are on some bullshit. But if she sees that you're not about the bullshit, she's not gonna even try to feel fuck with you because she knows she can't get over on you. She knows she can't really play games with you. So she can recognize that when she first sees you or when she first interacts with you. So she's really not going to put herself in that place to make it happen. But the girls who are going to fuck with you are the ones who are on your level. They're going to be more attracted to you because you're the type of guy who's at the same level as them. You feel what I mean? So that's really how this should go. That That's that's deep right there because that's mm -hmm. the problem that a lot of guys who complain in this space that we're in mm -hmm. about the inadequacies of women, but they have not looked at the inadequacies that were in themselves. Right. So until you adjust that, you cannot, you cannot say that all the women are like this. Mm -hmm. I, I watched it from my own personal life, being married before two times and mm -hmm. two, times, two times, two times, mm -hmm. and also in the dealing with a court. So I can couldn't figure out why I keep attracting these crazy women. I said, wait a minute, it's not them, it's me. Mm -hmm. So the minute I adjusted the crazy that was inside of me, the quality of women began to change in my life. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think a lot of men miss out on is because they never adjust the picture that of them on the inside of them. And they're wondering why they hear all this good information on you guys' channel and say, mm. hey, why is it not working? Right. Why is it not working? Because you have not changed channels. Right. Ooh, mm. That's some real shit right there. Hey, Lakari, I asked this question. I think this was a Tales from the Underwood video from last week. But I mm. want to ask you this question because... For one, it's a good game for the, the for the fellas, and for two, I'm curious to know. Mm. So we all went over this, and the thing was, what are the three things that attract you? Well, excuse me, what are the three things that women find attractive to you? I mean, you know, what I'm trying to say. I, am I saying right? Right. So what what are the three things that women are attracted to me? Do I think that they're attracted to yeah. me? Yeah. Whether they say it or you just know it, just because you put it out there. Right. Right. Um. I think you know what's funny because this is what I hear most of the time. One, one is 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 my looks. They say they like my they like oh you got really chocolatey skin and you know you're handsome all that other shit. So that's one. Mm -hmm. Two, that's for all you looks matters guys. Two, <laughs> two. Yeah. They love that one. They like yes, fire, <laughs> they like, yes, yes, yes. right? So, so now, now two is um, basically my my consistency. So. The thing with me is, and, and, and this is what I try to teach guys, is that a, a lot of, of the reason, like, I have a lot of women, because I, I did a, a video about this on my, my Bad Boy membership program, where I was talking about how to get women to, to stay loyal to you. I have women who I've known for like 10 years who still is like down for me. Like, I, I could just call them now and they'll come uh, come and see me, whatever. And But the reason why they do that is because I've been kind of like, I kept everything real with them. Like I've been consistent with them whenever I fucked with them. Even if it was a, just a girl I was fucking with for a month, that whole month when I was dealing with her, I was just consistent and real about. So if I said I was going to do something, I did it. If I was, if I told her I'm a, this is what I'm about, that's what it was about. So then they they just really appreciate that shit. So that's why the chicks usually stick with me. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like I, I have like a whole bunch of chicks I could just randomly call. Um, so that's the second thing. I think it's the consistency. Um, I say that the third. The third one is, I would say, just the fucking. You feel what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so, so you know that that's another thing because I, I have I have I've had women who, 
you know, have been fuck buddies of mine for like three, four years just because they like the D. You feel what I'm saying? And, and it'll be it'll be a chick where I'll probably see her like once or twice, like every like few months. You feel what I'm saying? But she'll still like hit me up periodically to call me because she wants some 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 sex. So you know, and that's another that's a key thing that I want to tell a lot of guys. If you fuck a girl good, nine times out of ten, she'll she'll want to keep fucking you because for women it's hard for them to find good dick. A woman could find a lot of dick. But it's hard for them to find good dick. So if you can give a woman good dick, she she'll keep fucking with you. So that's just you know something for y'all to think about. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's good that you said the good, it's good that you said the good dick part. Let me tell y'all why. Is because so just let's just flip it around like this. Women find a woman for a woman finding good dick is the equivalent to a man finding good head. Mm -hmm. And I get a fire sign of right. chat for that because I know y'all felt all of that. Mm -hmm. you, to get some fire dome. It, it take a few. Quit lying if you say you met 10 chicks, smashed 10 chicks, and got fire dome 10 for 10. You lying. Right, exactly. <laughs> Not real talk. <laughs> you lying. But like with me, like I be telling cats, like, man, my top three things now, and I was I had I would just, you know, flex and talking shit. And I said, I'm I'm hella saucy, I'm hella fine, and I'm hella saucy. It's all true. But really though, it, it, it's like my personality, man, and the fact that I'm very outgoing and I'm a leader, I'm very assertive. Um, I don't take myself too serious and I'm intelligent. That's how I get the chicks. All this looks and shit is adding to it. Right. Because I fuck them up with the personality and the in in the way that I articulate myself and that because 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 they don't expect it sometimes. Just mm -hmm. like you. If you see if you see a if you see a um a, a, a badass chick, right, coming out of the supermarket out of Safeway, right? So you 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 see you seen her in lane one. You seen her, you like, ooh, she hot, she fat. Oh, I, I want to holler at her. You let her, you let her, you let her slip your mind, right? You let her slip out the story. You didn't say hi to her, which you should. You fucked up. You feel you should at least say hi. Hey, when y'all see good looking chicks, at least say hi because that'll tell you a lot by the way they respond to you. And it's mm -hmm. not really, and it's not really you. You're not really putting enough out there for to get a full rejection. If you mm -hmm. say hi to someone and someone say hi to you, it's not, a, it's not a bad rejection. They didn't say get the fuck out my face or no shit like that. They just right. say hi or they don't. Mm -hmm. so the whole thing is, is once you put that bait out there, that then, then they'll be like, hey, hi. They'll get, they'll be like, hi, or they'll be like, hey, hi, how you doing? It's a mm -hmm. nice day. Then you'd be like, oh, okay, she want more conversation. So you just put, so you just at least say hi at the minimum. Okay, mm -hmm. but back to what I was saying, y'all thought, thought I forgot. No, so you seen the bad chick and you, she had ass and whatever it is you like, and you made her outside. So you walk, you seen her outside, you see her happen to a fucking Bentley. Now, now, now she matters more. Now you're like, damn. So it's the same thing when a woman finds a man who may be attractive and smart. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's that and factor. Right. You know, the and factor. So if you're handsome, you, you could be a handsome guy and have a good body. But if you don't know how to talk to women, you're going to lose every bitch you get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you you, you'll get them and, and you and the thing is you might not even have sex with them so you mm -hmm. may be thinking you all good just because you hit but she might be like girl he's ass dumbing than a motherfucker that's how women talk his mm -hmm. ass don't know how to talk Ugh, he hell again but they'll still be having sex with you so you think that it's good but mm -hmm. you know, Lawrence you got something you want to say of course I do so you know mine my first one is to get them is my lips it's the first thing that catch, catch their attention. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, is my intellect. So mm -hmm. by the time I talk to them, I'm already um, set up a couch, you know, uh, a coffee table in their mind. So by the time we do interact and have sex, she's already there and she's already ready. So if uh, two things that lives my intellect and by the time it get to the D game, it's already a done deal because I was already, excuse my French, fucking her in her mind. Mm. <laughs> mm. And that's what most people don't, most guys don't realize is when you tap into her primal mint female nature, the part of her that she doesn't let out and you begin to play, be, allow your, her imagination to be your playground, you can take her to places that no man mm. ever can take her. So that's why I love the intellect. I'm I am the intellect guru at that. I love to play in a woman's intellect because then I can have her like Lacardo says. She comes back for more and more and more because she never been right. fed like this before. Right, line right there. Right, that's real talk. You know, you know, it's funny. Like, what 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 <laughs> what a lot of guys don't understand is is that most guys that women interact with. Um, are guys that they would they they look at as lame. You feel what I'm saying? So 
if you if you're if you're actually on top of your game, like if you you know what happens is you stand out. You feel what I'm saying? And so when you stand out, that makes you more attractive to women in general. You feel what I'm saying? Because you're you're different than most other guys. You see what I'm saying? Like because I, I also coach women. You feel what I mean? And and so they be showing me their their inboxes on on Tinder and in, Instagram and. They be showing me text messages, guys be sending them. And a lot of dudes don't really know how to talk to women. You feel what I'm saying? And so a lot of times when, you, when you're when you the type of guy who don't know how to talk to women, you don't, know how, you don't know how to interact with them in a certain way, they put you in a category of the lame dudes. You feel what I'm saying? And then so when they find when they find a guy who's on point, you understand? When they find a guy who's, whose dick game is on point, when they find a guy who knows how to talk to them and give them that feeling, you're you're already elevated in their mind. They're like you're like at the top of their 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 mind all the time because you're that dude. You're you're rare. You feel what I'm saying? And this is this is why game is so important because it makes you into that rare guy. You feel what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Crazy. Uh, see, you, you see, I changed my glasses. See, so you got to change your look too, man. You got to <laughs> see. See, I didn't you see. I just thought I was trying to show off. Y'all didn't even realize I had a, a lesson right there. You got to change your shit up, man. You gotta change your routine up. You have to. That's right, because most guys are too predictable. Mm -hmm. They're too predictable. So when you become too predictable to a woman, you actually mm -hmm. become boring. She needs to be challenged on multiple levels, mostly in her emotions. So if you, if like Alfie, just changed his glasses, she needs to notice. She noticed that small detail that you may have noticed, not noticed as a guy. Mm -hmm. But what it does is it. it it, it piques her curiosity of why did he change his glasses right now you have some now you have a whole narrative going in her mind that wasn't there before but i'm just talking <laughs> you're just talking yeah, yeah 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 you have to see I, I, it, it, this is like a major key like i'm gonna repeat it one more time and i'm mm. telling y'all niggas a cheat code so i'm, I'm gonna reiterate this shit this is imperative when you do shit, just reverse it and think how you would take it if you were the woman and she was the man. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, that'll save you so many headaches. That'll make just just like this. So you as a man, you gotta realize that just because a woman is going out to eat with you, just because she texts you, just because she calls you, does not even mean that she's interested in you, fam. And you guys will misconstrue that and just think just because she texting you or y'all has sex that that mean that she has interest. It's the same way with you. If you one of these guys and you have a rotation, don't you have some guy that you that some women that you actually hang out with? Then you have some you just hit after midnight. Then you just have some that you only see. You don't so you don't even know where your place is. But the whole thing is is like yeah. So just because you're interacting, you think that you're solid in there, and it's the same way. Like you got chicks that hit you every now and then ones that just could come through on the late night so they are in a position but even though but they can misconstrue that just because you're showing them some attention on these particular times that you're interested let that be them your woman's problem is not your problem fellas so let's get that one straight too don't quit worrying about how she gonna take that's why i had a consultation the other day and i and i told them don't it don't really matter what the woman think fam mm. that's that shouldn't change how you how you interact because you can't control that you know what I mean? I mean, you can if you have expert level game, but if you if you book in a consultation, then you you probably don't have expert level game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout out to my guys who hit me up for the live game, though. I appreciate that. You know, mm -hmm. and it's just like game, like 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 like. See, I'm doing a course now, Lucario, but 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 um, um, Lawrence D. Adams, the one who let me let me even tell you this. He didn't tell me to do it. He inspired me to do it. He told me he was gonna do it. He did it. He showed it to me. I bought it. I watched it. I said, I got I'm a damn teacher. I need to fucking do this shit too. So he didn't even like he just told me to do it. So you, you have to get inspiration from other shit, man. Mm hmm Nah, real talk. Real talk. No. And you know, you know, you know, it's funny, like earlier you was we was talking about like, you know, guys who feel like this just thought just popped in my head, like guys who feel like they need to, you know, take girls out a lot, spend a lot of money and and it's like, you know, you could reverse that. Have have the girl spend some money on you. Have the girl take you out. Have the girl, you know, do more things for you. But in order for that to happen, though, and this is what I was saying earlier about the whole thing about you being rare, is that when you're when you when you when your game is on point and you and you become that rare guy, that's when women want to do more for you. That's when women start chasing you. Because a lot of guys say, How do you get these girls to chase you? How do you get these girls to like be attached to you and you know really want to be with you? 
it's it's it starts with you first. You feel what I'm saying? It starts with you becoming that dude. You feel what I'm saying? And then so what happens is when you are that dude, you start getting more and more women. So when you start getting more and more women, your perspective on dealing with women changes. And when your perspective on dealing with women changes and you start to see certain things, you become more attractive to other women because you're not you're not the same guy, that same thirsty guy who had no game back in the day. You've elevated your game. So now that you're elevating your game, you're a whole new dude, which women gravitate to. And because you have women gravitating to you, that makes you more attractive to more women because you within yourself have a different perspective now of dealing with women just in general. You see what I'm saying? So, so it's, it, this is why it's important to understand and learn the game so that you become that dude. So that when you become that dude, you have that perspective. And because you have that perspective, your your situation changes with women. You feel what I'm saying? It was a whole whole thing, you know what I mean? You just made me think of a fire thing. So I, I'm gonna ask both of you guys this question, and this is gonna be super beneficial to you guys. What do you two think the two biggest fuck ups or mistakes that men make with women? The two, I know it may be hard, but just two of them. I got one, I, I think of another one. Mm -hmm. What are the two main things guys do that are wrong with women? Or, or maybe even think, think, it could be thinking wrong or doing wrong. It, it, whichever one you want to go to. Wow, that's a, that's a good question. Um, let me see. I'd say I say one of, one of the things that that dudes mess up on that when it, when it comes to when it comes to women is you know like doing shit for women, doing shit for the woman, for the girl. That that I think is a big mistake, and what I, and, and that encompasses a lot of different things. So even for example, when when guys are learning game, and the the game is supposed to be about you learning to build yourself up as a man so that you're more attractive to women. But what happens is that when you're doing stuff for women, what that means is is that you may be doing things outside of your character because you want the girl to like you, which yeah. isn't a good thing. You feel what I'm saying? You start, um, or you might, or you may end up doing things that you think you're supposed to do just to get her. So you might think, well, let me let me buy her this thing or let me take her out to this expensive restaurant because I think this is what I need to do. But your whole your whole thought process is about doing for the woman instead of doing for you and just finding women who are going to cooperate with what you're trying to do. So so that's one thing. I think that's uh one of the one of the things that that men make a mistake on. Um another thing I think men make a mistake on is you know, giving women too much attention. You understand? And I, and I talk about that a lot too where the attention that you give a woman, and I, talk, I actually talked about this in one of my programs, the attention you give a woman should be based off of, you know, how how much, how long you've known her, what type of situations y'all y'all been in, y'all been in. So, for example, if you just met a girl at a bar yesterday and you got her number, you understand? You shouldn't be talking to her on the phone for like two hours. You understand what I'm saying? You just met this girl. You don't know her from nowhere. You're giving her way too much attention. Now, if that girl becomes your girlfriend you know, a year and a half later, then yeah, you could talk to her on the phone and give her that amount of attention. So based off of like your situation with the woman, that should dictate how much attention you're giving her or, or how little attention you're giving her. You see what I mean? So that, that I would say my main two things is the doing shit for women and giving women too much attention. So that's that's what I think. Hey, shout out to famous Nine Lives rapper. He say, look how you look. I see why you hate, buddy. I thought that you unsubscribed earlier, bro. What happened? I thought you was going to subscribe. So so shout out to him mm -hmm. he got music so why don't you go subscribe to his channel go subscribe to his channel because he because he was on here earlier yeah I, I i'm i don't know how you got the notification because you don't subscribe me fam so i don't know what happened but anyways um yeah man i think that the two things is um being too available is one mm -hmm. right they they, fucked up. They, they, they they look at it like um when they meet a woman like what are you doing i'm free i'm not doing anything mm -hmm. And they look at it like this is my time to get my dib in, but you're fucking up by doing that, man. So that's I think that's the first thing. And then the second thing, I would say, um, just being unsure of yourself, man. Mm -hmm. When you, it don't matter if you if you have money, if you have cars, if you have looks. When you okay, like I say, for example, when I meet a woman, and even if I think that she's decent, she could be cute and have mm -hmm. a nice body or whatever. If she's upselling herself i already know that she tells she's telling me i'm not in her league so if mm -hmm. i meet her for five minutes and i already she didn't already told me she a lawyer she drive a ferrari and she got 
administrative and a master's degree for no reason. Well, it's just like, it's almost like she's performing for me. Mm. And I'm kind of turned off by that, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's the same and the same thing. Like, you know, you, if you go on a date and you sit down at the table for dinner and then you're telling the woman, um, yeah, I do this, I got a, I got a Maserati and this, this job and this much money. And you think that logically that she would be impressed and you wonder why she don't call you back. Mm. Even even if the facts, even if it's true what you said, it don't matter, man. It's the energy. Right. You know? But Lawrence, yeah, you, you finished the question and then we'll just wrap this thing up. What, running around, what's up, fam? Um, it's, it's interesting because you guys took all mine. Y'all not right. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, I do, I, I wrote down. So one of the things is m most men pedals, put women on pedestals. That's mm -hmm. the worst thing that you can do. So that's no, there's tons of videos about that. So I have a two part for the other, for that two part is men listening to erroneous information about women. Mm. Facts. And so that's a problem there. So you can get, you can hear information about women and it's erroneous because you think that is going to work and it end up not working and you would continue the cycle of defeat defeatism with women so it's getting the wrong information about how the game works the mm. other thing part to that is listening to women who don't mean you good on how the game works mm. so so a lot of times i have a, i have a couple of women that are my friends for years so when i do we talk game for real but mm. they have my back and they're going to shoot from the hip versus a woman that I know that's not there who doesn't have my back, I'm not going to listen to her because she's going to always throw a monkey wrench so it benefits her or in the direction of the woman that I'm trying to get or whatever the situation may be. So it's getting erroneous information about women and the game. I see it too much. So another to, to tie it up with a bow right there is you have to be selective even when you do get information from who you get it from even on these youtube streets mm -hmm. because some people disseminate information but they're not living the information that they disseminate facts preach Great. so that so that becomes that becomes a problem now because there's no authenticity not being authentic in what they're saying i can hear and know when a man lives this life or if he doesn't because mm -hmm. there's something deeper than his words that are speaking it comes from his spirit that mm -hmm. says that this is how I do things versus someone mm -hmm. who just read a book, which I read tons of books and never practice anything versus the person who actually lived it. So you need to be careful where you get the information. My mother used to say when I was little, you can't eat at everybody's house. Mm. I said, why, ma? Because everybody's not clean like we are. Mm. <laughs> that's what's up. And so that's the, that's the issue right there. So you might get the information but the intent and morals behind what's being said is not for your benefit. It could mm -hmm. be they're, in, they're giving alpha information with a simp mentality or a simp in their spirit. Mm. That's, That's what's going cool. Hey, well, you know, we can wrap this thing up unless y'all got some more gas, man. Then we can go a few more minutes. But if not, if y'all got, if y'all press the time, man, we could just end it up. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I gotta go in a minute, but um, but yo, man, I appreciate I appreciate you having me on here, bro. You feel me? Yeah. And, um, and just uh, just want to let people know again for the for the whole month of May, I have a, a sale, the Bad Boy Membership sale. If you go to badboymembership.com and join the Bad Boy Membership, you're gonna get my audio book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. You're gonna get uh the Bad Boy book and my my other book, Sixty Second Game, all for free if you join the Bad Boy Membership from now up until May 31st. So. Just want to let you guys know that you feel me. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to Mr. Lucario, but yeah, yeah make sure y'all buy his books too. Just yeah, don't so. don't take too much pride in the shit that don't cost you no money. Exactly. You, know, <laughs> damn, you can if you spend twenty dollars just one time, you, you spend twenty dollars every single day, man. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm gonna say that, and I'm gonna say go to my go to my Patreon, man, and and get the daily content. Y'all YouTube cast think I don't do daily content. I do daily content. Y'all just not on my Patreon. Uh, subscribe to Lawrence D. Adams channel. Look, Lucario, if you ain't uh, up on him, subscribe to. Oh, my yeah, channel. yeah, I'm a definitely, I'm a definitely subscribe. So, what's your channel? Is, is, is what's your channel name? Lawrence D. Adams. Lawrence D. Adams. I'm a, I'm a definitely subscribe yeah. to that. But yeah, we be doing a, we be doing a call in show and stuff every now and then. It'd be cool, but 
and, you know, and get that I, and get that iTunes that single, Mid- Midnight Love Making. All right, that's what's up. Well, when you come on Super Friends, you pick the topic since I picked this one. I don't want to pick it every time, so I, I, I'm gonna feel like I'm selfish. All right. <laughs> And I, I just subscribed to I just Lawrence, I just subscribed to you, my dude. Appreciate it. Much That's love. What's up, man. Let me check. Yeah, you so you and Miles, man. We we're gonna chop game. You, you I, actually, yeah, that'll be cool because I want to see which what you come up with. It'll make That's it fun. Enough. You know what I'm saying? But I uh, appreciate everybody. Y'all want the JV drops, get on the Patreon. Um, if you need a, a one-on-one consultation, go to kingdomconsultingfirm.com and um like I said, subscribe to Lawrence D. Adams. Subscribe to Lil Cario fam. Uh, it's Global Game Part 3. You already know I'm going to leave it open so you can post it, Lucario, if you need to. All right, cool. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to post it on my, on my channel. For sure, cool. for sure. And y'all have a good one. And we'll, we'll talk next week, man. I'm All at right, you. I'm going to holler. All right, man. Peace. All right, All right peace, y'all. Peace.